Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I will show you a super easy way to find the standard deviation variance mean in a step-by-step -step way for the following grouped data. So the very first step that you look at right now over here that uh, the very first column in the table is our given data intervals as you can see and with their frequency as well. Now we want to find the interval midpoints. What that mean interval midpoints for these gate data intervals. What we're going to do is we're going to add these two number up and divide it by two. So this is what we will be doing. I'm going to go ahead and do one plus five divided by two, which is six over two is going to give you what? Three. So the interval midpoint for this data is turns out to be this thing. Likewise, this is going to be what? Six plus ten divided by two. Sixteen divided by two is eight. So here we've filled out this third column. As you can see, these values turns out to be what? 13, 18, 23, and 28 by just adding these two numbers and numbers and divided by two. So the next fourth column, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be multiplying this. This, by the way, this third column is represented by X of M. That means the midpoints. So we're going to multiply these X of M by third columns times the frequency, their corresponding frequency. So now I want you to multiply 3 times 3 is going to become what? 9 over here. Likewise, over here, this is going to be what? 7 times 8 is going to become what? 50. 6 and over here 13 times 8 is going to become 104 and this is 10 times 18 become 180 7 times 23 is going to be a 161 and finally 4 times 28 is going to give you what 112 now in the next step this is what we're going to do i want you to look at this frequency column i want you to add these number up i want you to add these number up how much that is going to be if you add these frequencies all of them sigma frequency means add them up this is going to be same as the number n so when you add these numbers, that turns out to be 3 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 7 plus 4 turns out to be 39. Just keep in your mind. And likewise, we're going to add this fourth column. We're going to add this one as well. Go ahead and add this one as well. Adding means, that means sigma means add them up. And now this is what x of m times what f that is how much we're gonna add these one up and that's gonna when you add these numbers up 9 all the way to 112 using your calculator this is supposed to be 622 I just want to make sure you just keep track of these numbers. 622, here it was n equals to what? 39. Now we want to find the mean right now. The mean over here, x bar, and we're going to put down the value over here. The mean formula is this thing. Mean is going to be what? Mean is always represented by x bar. You know that thing which is always equal to sigma of x of m times f divided by n, which is our the total number of frequencies. 
So right now you can look at this thing. The top part is we figured out which turns out to be what? 622 divided by n is what? n is 39 and if you simplify that is going to give you what? 15.95 so thus that means our x bar the mean value turns out to be 15.95 so these are the values i'm going to go ahead and plug it over here 15 15.95 15.95 15.95 15.95 15.95 and 15.95 all the way. These are our mean values. Now the next, you can see that one. We're going to do what? We're going to subtract the x of m, the midpoints, minus the mean value xm minus x bar that once you subtract that is going to give you what negative 12.95 see right now once again 3 minus 15.95 is going to give you this one likewise 8 minus 15.95 is going to give you negative 7.95 nine five so now what we did is we just simply filled out this column by just simply subtracting the xm minus the x bar we got it in the next step as you can look at this thing we will be squaring whatever we got in this previous column over here this is what column number six so whatever is in column number six we're gonna just simply square it so that means negative 12.95 square is gonna turns out to be 167 point seven so the next one over here negative seven point nine five squared is gonna turns out to be sixty three point two and likewise i will fill out these other numbers as well so once we filled out this column as you can see by just simply sub multiplying this previous column just simply what we did we did nothing else but simply we just squared the previous column and we got these values and in the last column what we're going to do is whatever is in the previous column times their corresponding frequency in the top one 167.7 we're going to multiply with their frequency corresponding frequency is 3 so 3 times 167.7 is going to give you what 503.1 likewise over here the next one when you multiply 63 Point two times seven that is gonna give you what four forty two point four watch out all with these numbers and be careful with your calculations so once we filled out this last column as well by just uh, multiplying the previous columns times their corresponding frequency f so we're gonna simply add these numbers up whatever these on the last column so i'm gonna use sigma means add them up all these one which is what x of m minus x bar square times f and which turns out to be how much this turns out when you add them up it's going to be 1985.8 just be careful with these numbers so once we have taken care of this whole table step by step we finally find out 
our variance. So what is the variance formula? Let me go ahead and put down variance is, is same as writing s square, lowercase s square, equal to what? Sigma of x of m minus x bar square times the frequency f everything is divided by what n minus one so once we have this one we're gonna just simply go ahead and plug it in everything so our s squared simply become what so sigma of this thing of this on the top part is same as right up here at the final column, the last column, that was how much? 1985.8 divided by n is how much? You can see n we figured out is 39 take away one. So this whole thing is what? 1985.8 8 divided by 38 is going to give you 52.26. So that is our variance answer. And now next thing is we want to figure it out the standard deviation. So the standard deviation formula is this one. Simply standard deviation is represented by lowercase s equal to the square root of sigma x m minus x bar square times the frequency f. Everything is divisible by n minus 1. So let's go ahead and plug it in everything. So our standard deviation turns out to be square root of 1985.8 divided by 38. It's what? 52.26 equals to how much? 7.26. Two two nine. Thus, our standard deviation turns out to be this is our what standard deviation. Thanks for watching. Bye.